Well, hey, Kenny, we're about two miles from the scene, but I want to get right out of the shot now because we've just noticed that a group of deputies are assembling behind us. We've been watching them for the last few minutes as they get equipment together. You can see they're putting on helmets. We haven't had an, an official update since about four o'clock, but this group here just behind me has just started to assemble and really get themselves together. So we will be watching and waiting for some more details as to what is going on. But if you are just joining us, this has been going on for hours now. Like you mentioned, Kenny, this started as a welfare check um, at a home about two miles from this staging area. We have learned that two deputies were shot. We were told that one deputy was air lifted for medical treatment. The second deputy, we are told, is still on scene, but we do not know the condition of that deputy. I want to show you some video now from a helicopter view. This is what it looks like above that neighborhood. Residents were told to stay in their homes, keep windows closed. As you can see, very, very active. Lots of law enforcement at that neighborhood, just about two miles and then back here just an entire sea of law enforcement personnel. We've seen people from agencies all over the region just coming and going in and out of this staging area. We're actually in a in a church parking lot. So last we heard from the sheriff's office was that this standoff was still ongoing, that the shooter was still periodically firing at the deputies that were on scene. I had asked um, a short time ago if we were expecting more details late this afternoon into the early evening. I was told by the deputy that I spoke with that he did not know just yet, but the real message that I continue to hear is that this situation not too far from where we are is still active and ongoing. Those two deputies were shot. We will share more information about how they're doing as soon as we hear. Reporting in Watauga County, Leon Denyer, WXII 12 News.